<clears throat> Hi and welcome to Nokia one, Nokia N900 101 by Sensupply.com. In this episode, I will show you the phone, the Nokia N900, what it contains physically, how to insert the SIM in the phone, and also how to start it, how to add information to it. And in the next episode, we'll cover about the programs and how to add them. This is Nokia N900. As you can see, the screen is 3.5 inch diagonal. It's a, it's a 640 by 800 pixel screen, equivalent to the laptops which you used to see somewhere around in the early 2000s. It's powered by an ARM Cortex processor. As you can see over here, ARM Cortex A8. It's a 32 GB built-in memory. A 5 megapixel Carl Zeiss lens. It's autofocus. Stereo sound output. Uh, micro USB for charging and sync and also a stylus it's a good stylus actually you can easily hold it and write with it okay it, this is the camera button this is the, this is the on and off button these are the volume keys so let's begin with insertion of the SIM card you can see the small ridge over here just insert your nail on it and so oh, it's a uh, kind of hard takes some time getting used to. You can pull the battery with the same BL5J battery which the Nokia has used in Nokia 5800. It has 1320 mAh and in reality it lasts for only about half a day on this phone. Nokia as I already mentioned is not experimenting in it and how to add the SIM card. It's the same way just slide and open here you go, insert the SIM card. Ah, slept. It goes in and it slept. <coughs> goes the battery. This is the memory card slot. I don't have any one available, any memory card available, so I'm not putting it otherwise. It's the same mechanism of, I think it's slide and pull. Yep, slide and slide and pull for the memory card like that to insert back the flap look at this top ridge over here yeah Nokia has used some blue color right at the back it looks ugly but what can I say it gives a slight blue hint you can see it over here on the outside too you have to insert it from one end and just push it. See, you can see it's open out from it's all fixed. The phone build is solid. The slide is smooth. It does not take any. It's not. It does not have any creaks or any sounds to it. The phone does not have creaks like the Nokia 55 5530. Okay, this is how we turn it on. Okay, it's on. See the these are the indicator keys, indicator lights. It turns orange, blue, and white depends on the specific function. Okay, I have about a lot of programs installed in this, so it takes a little time with me. It's starting. Okay, connecting people. And still processing. It's comparatively fast, but because of all the programs I've installed, it takes a little time, as you can see. Right now, only on the main screen, I have 3, 6, 7, 3, about 21 programs on the main screen. There is Micro, there is Kick, there is Witter. Uh, later, I'll show you how to install all the programs in it. Yeah, I also got Frank. I got a radio player, some GPS programs. Let's see, this screen is empty. This screen has my calendar, my program mode, and the uh, email, contacts, and the phone icon. For Nokia 900, what, no what Nokia did is that instead of putting the smart features into a phone, they put phone into a internet into an internet tablet like the N810 and 800 and 700 of Nokia. They just made it a phone. So you, you can see there are no dedicated keys over here. Nothing for call, send, call, receive. Nothing even on the keyboard. 
it does not go on the port, uh, landscape uh, portrait mode. It is always in the landscape mode. For phone, you have to go to the phone icon, click on it, and then it shows up. Okay, the phone is in landscape mode. Go to dialing pad. Okay, here it is. The numbers are big, and you know, they do change. It's not changing right now. These are all the contacts and all the contacts which I have used to make phone calls. Okay, back. For setup, uh, touch the icon right on the left hand top. Here you go. You have the settings. Usually it takes you if you have programs running like I got Spring running and I have Spring, then I also want to also start the homes. I also install start the Okay. <coughs> so when you press the topmost key it will show you all the icons running. You just Click it again, it will take you to settings. From settings, you can set up the time and the date. It usually asks you time and the date when you first started, but in my option, in my phone right now, I've been using for the past two days. So, you don't have to, I don't have to adjust it. It will take you, when you start your phone, it will give you the option to change the time and date. See here, you can just slide on the map, take it to your city, the point to your city, and you can also see which place I'm in Karachi, so I'll go for select Karachi and done. I'm running a 24 hour clock. If I want to update automatically, it takes the data straight from my network provider. Okay, then there are, okay, I'm back again there. Mm, okay, I got a message. Let me just answer it back to him real quick. See, I have a keyboard and I also have an on-screen keyboard. Let him send a message, I'm busy. Okay, where is the space bar? I can't find the space bar over here. It's better if I use this. Okay, the guy wants to talk to me. Five minutes. Running video review. <clears throat> and send. It's gone. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Excuse me. Okay. So we go to the settings and here you can... Uh, okay. Fine. Go back to the setting again. Here we are. The setting and you can make all the changes you want. There's an email option. You can set... Look okay, your messaging on it. I'll show you how later. Then there is... Okay. Here you go. I got about 10 email accounts running on this right now. Set up Nokia messaging. You can also go to maps, the phone option is there, the clock, calculator, store, settings, and a lot of things. To go out, simply tap on the blank space. You get all the programs running in the background. Click anywhere. Okay, the guy's still online, so I'll just click on Frank. Yeah, I'll talk to him later. And here I'm back to my main screens. I can slide like this. I've only tried that there are only four screens. I think Nokia has not put more screens on it. And given the icons, I have already put in one, two, three. There are four rows for icons, and there are seven icons in every row. So I can put 28 times four. That will be about what will that be? Ah, about 112 icons. 112 icons on it. But some of the icons are rather big. As you can see, the context is taking up much of the space. This is for the programs. Here you can update your phone. You can also download. So that's all about the Nokia N900-101. In the later videos, I'll cover how to put in the programs, how to set up Nokia messaging, how to make a phone call, and how to keep the call, rec call, call record. There's also a blue pill, red pill option on it. On it and some unstable repositories which we can easily access and get more programs from there. So for now, this is Nokia 900 for you. 
do give me a feedback what you like to see what do you want and I'll try my best to cover it off. Thank you from Sense of Light.